without it cooking you first. Without it correcting you first. Without it purifying you first. Because you can't just stand up here and preach God's word to other people without it being for you first. Because you have to get all this out. Amen? So the Holy Spirit can put himself in there. So when you teach it and you're preaching the word of God, and you're filling his people with the word of God. It's not coming from you. Yes. Amen? Amen? That praise and that worship was necessary for me. Yes. I had to give him glory for being here. Yes. I had to let him know, Lord, you're number one in my life. Yes, you are. Amen? Amen? Yes, you are. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So why is it? That when we talk about God's love, we fail to mention that it is a part of us. And God gave us, let's see, gives us assignments to go out and share it the way he did it and is still doing it. So when he walked the earth and he was out sharing his word to people, he didn't just go in a pattern. He didn't just go in a straight way. He did, he just bounced around. He went where he was needed the most in order. In that very order. That's why he wasn't there when Lazarus died. And Lazarus was close to him. He did what the Father told him to do first. Yes. How many of us do that? Yes. We have to make sure when out, whenever we're out in God's in this world, and we're working, <coughs> representing Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, we have to make sure we're going with all that inside of us. Yes. It ain't us. Because when you get the big head, you need to be sitting yourself down. Amen? Yes. Come on, somebody. Um, because the devil is just waiting. To trip you up. Because he knows where you're going. He want to know who you're going to. And why you're going. He knows why. He just want to stop it. Amen? He don't want you to finish out the work that God has given to you. Yes, And God never, Jesus never promised you all witnesses that it was going to be easy. But count it all joy and mash you too. Yes, Count it all joy when you ever rebuke. Because it's not you there rebuking. It's the spirit inside of you. So if you are, make sure it's from a, a woman, a man, of God. First of all, one that put God first in their life. So when they are rebuking you, or they are chastising you, or they are correcting you, accept it. Yes, because it's love. It's the love of Christ. Now, I can see if they say, then that's self. But if they, if they come to you from the heart and say, Lord, uh, brother and sister, first, first of all, pray. They should be praying that whatever that comes out of their mouth is of God. Both of them pray together. Then when the word comes forth and they correct, review, they're just casting down the enemy. They're helping you. They're showing you how to do it. Yes. Be accepting of it. Amen? Amen. Everything, and I say this to be true, everything apostle corrects, abuse, rebuke, cast down in me, yes. it may not be in public, but I accept it. Yes, Because sometimes I don't want to kick the bricks. Amen. Y'all know. Had go. Yes. Amen. What are you talking about? Mm. And then the Lord said, Why are you questioning the man of God? Which is your leadership of your household? Yes. Don't you trust him? Yes. Don't you believe in what he said? Because I told him what to say. Yes. You're wrong. And he's correcting you. Yes. He's rebuking you. Because I need you. Amen? Amen. 
and I have to accept that. Whatever it is. So what I do, if me and Apostle have a disagreement, what do we do? Because we ain't here. We, we go, <laughs> we never let the sun go down on our life. Amen. Ever. Yes, That's all the 12 years as we've been married. Not even when our children tried to go against us. And he wanted to go away to fish out. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But you cannot be in, in, in the flesh. When you're doing that, if you expect a great outcome, a positive outcome, you have to be in the spirit of God at all times. God said, come on, help me out. <laughs> be angry, but sin not. Amen. Yes, sir. You ain't got to get your spouse. You ain't got to say negative words. You should be past that if you are a Christian, not a Christian, but a Christian. Those words shouldn't even be in your category anymore. Yes, Okay? Because you're stronger now. You're better now. Satan can't use you like that no more. Amen? Amen. 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 So, <laughs> funny stuff. So, Apostle, we got into a, a disagreement. Yes. We need our will to be not of what it was. Because <laughs> it was silly. Amen? Yes, sir. And we went to our own second parts of the house. I didn't say nothing to him, he didn't say nothing to me. Okay? Yes, sir. So he called me. I think I was downstairs, he was upstairs, and he called me and he said, where you at? I said, I'm upstairs. And he said, oh, okay, I thought you left the house. First off, me being from where I'm from. Right. <laughs> and ready to let the, let the devil in, okay? Yes. You know I ain't going out there, man. Just because you argue with me, don't make me believe you. I'm not going to do that, that's it, that's it. Come on, y'all. Come on, ladies. Okay? <laughs> Don't let the sun go back from your wrath. Yeah, Every night, if possible, this might be TMI, but he likes to take showers at night. I'm a big person. Amen. So, I'll be like, go in and uh, you know, I said, uh, are you almost done? Uh, he's like, yeah, I'll be out in a second. So, when he came out, I was like, I'm not going to be here. I'm 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 going to be here. Yes. We did not let the sun go down on our wrath. Yes. Yes. It was funny though. And I was like, come on, Apostle. Come on. So I'm going down. Come on. <laughs> what you got to say? <laughs> you know, it was fun. It was funny, you know. But yeah, so when you're in the household, even for those who do not have a spouse, you know, the mother can attest to She loved her spouse. She honored her spouse. Amen? Amen. And he's going to be with Jesus now. Yes. Amen? I can still hear Mother Romans and tell you wrong. You still talk to him, though, right? <laughs> like he's the king of your castle. Amen? Yes. Amen. So I say all that because that is a part of God's love. Yes. When you can honor your spouse. Your children, regardless of what they make you feel, come on, come on, some of you all with these adult children, <laughs> regardless of how they make you feel, mom. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, we all can attest to that, though. You know? Learn your language with your children. It may have changed. But there's still a language that we must learn, even with our adult children. Amen? Amen. So the love of God says, and John, let's turn to John chapter 4, verse 9. Amen? St. John, that is, I apologize because I know it's like three or four. Amen? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And what did I say? Verse 9? Yes. <coughs> and we're going to talk about the woman from Samaria. Amen. Oh, Amen. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, John chapter 4, St. John chapter 4, 
verse 9. And if you would, you could stand for the Lord of God. Amen? Just this one. All the other ones I'm going to read, you don't have to stand. Amen? Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou being a Jew, oh, okay, let's back up. Let's back up. I apologize. I apologize. Let's go to one. We got to learn why. We got to learn why. Forget it. I'm so happy, y'all. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, thou Jesus himself baptized not, but his, but his disciples. He left Judea and departed again into, into Galilee. And he, and he must need to go through Samaria. Then came he to a city of Samaria, which is called Samaria. Sachera. Sachera. Near to the Paris. The parcel of, okay, of the ground. That Jacob gave his son Joseph. Yeah. Now Jacob will will was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary with his journey, weary with his journey, like tired, mm -hmm. set thou on the wheel. Well. Set thou on the wheel, and it it was about the sixth hour. Mm -hmm. There came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her. Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou being a Jew, asking drink of me, which I am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews had no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus said, and Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, Amen. The gift of God and who it is that sent to thee, give me a drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. You may see it. Amen? We need living water for Jesus to live. Are we asking him for a drink? No. Why not? Oh, you know the answer to that. Why are we asking him for the drink that we, the very drink we need to live in this world? Amen. That's what the last song talks about. Amen. Y'all like our new style. I do. <laughs> Amen. So every night before we go to bed, thank him for the drink. Every morning when we rise, we should be asking for the drink. Amen. 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 So, so we can carry on through our day. It sounds simple and simplistic, but it can be very hard as you go out through your day. Amen. Because through your day is when you should be always constantly asking. Lord, I thirst. Isn't that what Jesus said to God? Yes. I thirst. And we should be asking because that's love. That's God's love. We're asking for this love. Amen. If we can separate ourselves from the world and tap into the spirit of light, only then will we see the light of the Lord. Amen? That brings us to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4 and 8. A very familiar scripture and passage. Amen? To whom? 1 Corinthians. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 and 8. 4 through 8. Yeah. Amen. We're going to learn, if you don't already know, about some fruits of the Spirit. Mother, dearest, is which she made with the flags that we just received for the youth. Amen. We learn the fruits of the Spirit. Amen? So what a better way to teach the children. Oh, you'll see it. If you guys come to the Easter program, you'll see them use the new flags. Amen? Amen. Amen. So they will be uh, blessed today. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 
Um, okay, sorry, getting off track. I have a lot of time. So, chapter 13. Mother, when you read that, uh, you can either do uh, all four verses or as many as you would like. Amen? Amen. Amen. Revelation of God. 
and a validating a gospel. Amen. Of the gospel. Amen. The gospel message. I forgot that word. After the canon, the, after the canon of scripture was finished, the Interrated word of God, that is it, now speaks to his people and reveals his will and way. Get out of here, say, you ain't got no power, we all can read. Yes, Lord. Amen. <laughs> now we got that out of the way, amen. Um, ways to, to us, love would endure as the greatest.